This is a little update to my do-it-yourself garden light. This is the second morning of charging. Yesterday there was a bit of sun, there were a lot of clouds, and uh, at the end of the day the charge of the Eneloop battery came to about 1.38 volt. To give you some context, when you use a regular charger for, for the Eneloop, uh, it would go up to 1.45 and when you unplug the charger it would settle down at 1.38 or 1.4 or when you leave it standing for a month or two it will drop to 1.35, 1.3 but that is considered pretty much fully charged so that was uh, the charge level that I got yesterday with cloudy uh, sky, a bit of sun, but not a whole lot. This morning I have very, very good sun. Uh, I put this just this solar panel here on my window sill here. It's not actually tracking the sun. There's some sunlight on it. And for about two hours, I am getting 1.365. And if I move the solar panel away, if your battery is not good, it will drop like a stone. It will go back to 1.2 or something if you don't have a good battery. But this is a good battery. It's pretty new. So it's holding the charge, 1.35. I'm going to put back, put back the solar panel. So when you put back the solar panel, the charge went back up to 1.36. And I guess in, uh, in no time, it will go back to 1.4 or so. And that would be completely charged. I like this new setup with this QX5252 chip because it is uh, very miserly in using the battery power. Here I have another solar light that I made before. This is the more traditional dark sensing light and I have to use a charge controller like this for a lithium ion battery. This one is a Sony. This battery has a lot of power because it's uh, laptop battery is 3.7 volt, uh, 1400 mA, but this runs at 100% duty cycle. I'm not sure what this runs at, but it's probably about 35%. Uh, it uses an oscillating circuit, so uh, it uses less electricity and it actually is a whole lot brighter than this one here. So I put it side by side. And this has a lot of promise. This has a lot of potential. And if you use the right combination of solar panel and battery, um, this, will, this setup here will work quite well. And one thing that I have found is uh, if you find that you are drawing too much current with 7 LED, I just use 7 LED because uh, YouTube uh, Mr. Freddy W1 was using 7 LED. But if you find you're using uh, too much energy, you can uh, either, either um, shut off a few of the LED or you can use your solar panel to adjust the brightness of the LED. I don't, uh, it is daylight now but I, I cannot I cannot show you but if you move your solar panel away from the light this gets brighter because this is the photoresistor for the circuit here. So if you want it to be dimmer just move your solar panel like this 
This will still light, but it will be dimmer. The closer you move it to, towards the light, uh, the uh, dimmer it will be. So this will, in fact, it can be your dimmer switch. You can put a hinge, right? You can put this on one one side, and you can put the solar panel on another panel, and put a hinge in between, and you can fold it, and then that way you can control the intensity of the light without having to uh, to remove or take out of circuit the uh, LED and like I said you can make this a much longer lasting light if you use you can also use an extra battery in in parallel right or you can uh, have a much stronger light if you make say five of this put it in parallel and use one solar panel to charge it don't you love the uh, the sunshine people don't realize it why some countries are wealthy why some countries are poor well I don't want to get into politics, but the sun is energy. The sun really is energy. The sun is wealth. You have to know how to harness it. It's like while some, you know, white like uh, North Dakota, uh, they have less unemployment now because they found uh, oil, oil shale, and that's a natural resource. And if you know how to harness that, we now, of course, have the uh, technology to, to harness oil. We know how to use uh, motor cars and um, use oil to power your, your diesel trucks or whatever. That's, uh, that's wealth. So energy is wealth if you know how to harness it. Just like human energy, if you know how to harness human energy that is wealth. How do you ha harness uh, human energy? Well, education, the right kind of education. And usually when you make things, when you make things, you become wealthy, right? You can make things intellectually, you can, it, it can also be in the form of art, but in science, if you make a lot of things that people want, they will pay you good money for it and that's how you create wealth just like solar energy if you know how to harness that that is wealth and that's how you how you get jobs that's how you you become rich so the trick is right how to harness it and instead of discouraging people from using solar we should be encouraging and harnessing and using it in in a good way right this is a hundred percent duty cycle it's uh, more wasteful in energy this is much more efficient right so in effect the technology is improving your life right you don't you can just set up solar panels like this if you have enough of them you can turn off some lights and you can still see in your room and uh, I'm not a scientist I'm not even an electrician I'm 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 just someone who is curious and and uh, this is not rocket science I would say anyone can do it if uh, the only danger is if you use a soldering iron you just make sure you know how to you, you be careful and not burn yourself All right this is uh, a little rant uh, usually I don't talk about politics sex or religion because these are very controversial things and no one likes to talk about them, and when they do, they get all upset. 
For those of you that don't think power is money, uh, power is wealth, let me tell you, uh, natural resources, oil and whatever, zinc, uh, gold, silver, whatever, they are power because when you have solar power, when you have oil, you have wealth. Uh, I live in the New York area. It's 10 degrees today outside and I have to use oil to heat the house and you know what I pay? I pay $4 a gallon for heating oil. And each time the oil truck comes, it's like a $600, $800 uh, for the bill. And uh, that's uh, they come very quickly in the winter, let me tell you. And how many $800 do you have? If you can some find some way to harness the solar power and if you can use it that way to heat your house, you would be rich because you don't have to pay $800. A good way to do that is to add a greenhouse um, to the side of your house, uh, the side that would add, uh, that would get sunshine. But that is not easily done. That is not something that they encourage you to do. Because in the old days, when I first uh, started driving, gas was 40 cents a gallon. So now it's four dollars, it's ten times that much. And that will have a lot less wealth and if you are spending a lot of money on on energy so this is why energy is important and how we harness it and if we can harness it that will make a big difference